Welcome to NASA's Summer of Innovation Lesson Support Videos. I'm Steve Cullivan, NASA Aerospace Education Specialist at the John C. Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, and this is an introduction to teaching with the engineering design process. The purpose of this video is to offer support for those of you who are starting to teach with the engineering design process for the first time. To get you started, we will briefly talk about why we teach this process, then move on to introducing one model for the design process, and finally, share some teaching tips. Along the way, we also hope to provide you with some connections between flight, design, and NASA. For engineers, the engineering design process is a way of engaging students with the possibility of new ideas, understanding the constraints of the materials and costs along with the laws of physics. Yet, the design process is not just for engineers. At its best, it can provide all of us with a process for engaging in challenging problems and the possibility of exploring new solutions. If you imagine back a few hundred years, flight was just an idea or a dream, unless you were a bird. Finally, after much trial and error and many changes of design, humans took flight. And we flew. Over the years, there were more and more new ideas, more designs, and more successful aircraft. Ideas and goals were then reimagined. We almost take for granted that the space shuttle can fly and that we can travel into space. But it took the design process to get there, among many other things. Here you can see ideas of what the space shuttle might have looked like. At the beginning of the 20th century, who would have imagined the International Space Station? Yet today, scientists regularly journey to space to expand our knowledge. But still, we are imagining and designing new ways to get into space. This is a new hydro impact basin at NASA's Langley Research Center and the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle prototype going through the design process. This may be the new crew vehicle for taking astronauts to the International Space Station and beyond. So, if we go back to the space shuttle, here is a series of visions of what the vehicle might have been and its progression of change over time. This is an example of the engineering design process we hope to help you share with your students. There are many models for the engineering design process. Many engineers will tell you they have worked with this process to make it fit with their designing styles. In the Summer of Innovation lesson plans, you will see this cycle. NASA uses some variations of the design process. Identify criteria and constraints. Brainstorm possible solutions. Generate ideas. Explore possibilities. Select an approach. Build a model or prototype. And refine the design. The key elements or stages in the design process are often depicted as circles. This is because we often run through variations, not just stopping to fill in a list, but revisiting the process till we get where we want to be. But just as when we teach inquiry, sometimes we only get part way through the cycle before we return to a prior step. Here you see an arrow depicting a moment when a new possibility may require verifying criteria and constraints again before choosing this as an approach. When we design learning experiences to include the design process, the goal is often for students to become comfortable engaging them with a problem and not beginning with the right answer. Rather, it is about introducing the idea that there is a process for getting to an answer. The key elements to doing this are beginning with an activity that takes students out of a comfort zone and step-by-step -step instructions. NASA has great resources for modeling the design process. 
They also have video clips that allow students a glimpse into how NASA personnel tackle difficult questions. Another key element to successful learning is to prepare the student for taking a problem-solving stance rather than just giving an answer. You want them to be safe enough to share their thinking, trust in their own ideas, listen to other people's ideas, and to be able to integrate failure into their learning process. We will look at each of these elements in the next few slides. When you decide to teach the engineering design process, you will want to choose a great lesson with no set answers, open-ended questions let students learn to explore and trust their own ideas and compare various solutions to the same problem. The Summer of Innovation Engineering Lesson Plans have great ideas in the Engineering Design Process and Challenges section. As you choose a lesson, use your professional judgment to determine what will be a reasonable challenge and not too frustrating for your students. When the students get ready to try the process, you might encourage using the process and not just answers or memorization. Keep in a journal of each question they wondered along the way, and the steps of their thinking is a great way to track their interaction with the process. For many students, teamwork and a problem-solving stance are something that can ben benefit from some low-stakes practice activities. Finally, don't forget to check to see what content knowledge they may need access to to successfully work on this problem. When students are working in teams, they are engaging in the work the way NASA engineers do. To show students some examples of this teamwork in action, you might have your students participate in the NASA Digital Learning Network's program, Humans in Space, to see how astronauts train to work together. It is often very difficult for students to deal with their first attempt at design that does not go as they planned. We have created another video with more tips and ideas to help students learn to work through these frustrations and failures. For most of us, mentoring students at this point is best approached with questions rather than providing them an answer. Asking what they learned, what they see, or what they might change can help get the process back on track. More than anything, this is your chance to keep on modeling a problem-solving stance. The wonderful thing about the engineering design process is that it is always leaves us with the question, what can we design next? Here at NASA, we are asking the same questions. This slide depicts the goal for an MPCV or a multi-purpose crew vehicle. We look forward to seeing what you and your students create. Thank you for joining us as we explore together in NASA's Summer of Innovation. And special thanks to the many education specialists and the NASA Digital Learning Network who helped make this video lesson possible.